What's going on everybody? Back here at a park and today we are going on a range test. We are going to take the 9 bot Max down to the distillery. So let's have a check. All right, so from my area here, essentially it is supposed to be a 5.8 kilometers and let's go let's see how long it actually takes. I currently have 97% battery and 63 kilometer range. All right, so we're all geared up. You're on there and the time is 10.51. So let's head on out. It's actually 10.53. <laughs> getting a feel for all the bumps here not only for the camera which I can see is kind of going all over the place but also for me and how this thing handles going up on a incline of a hill and it's still doing 22 kilometers I'm definitely not being gentle with this so sorry the mic on the road wireless go is super amazing with the lav you can hardly hear any wind noise but as I'm driving there is a ton of wind noise let me tell you Slight incline, not much, but I'm doing 30, so I'm maxing out right now. We just came over that crest, and now I'm doing 31. Thank goodness it's a 40 zone. I'm not speeding. Hill again. I was doing 30, dropped down about one kilometer to 29. I saw 28 for about a second right back up to 31 so this thing goes so I'm not too worried about the range at least not yet the first bar is flashing and again so much reminds me of like the Tesla no brakes kind of crappy when you're sitting next to cars after being in a Tesla for so long. Hey! You s Why don't you watch people? Right? Hey, you didn't see me. Tell that to the cops. You didn't see the guy in a bike next to your car. Especially when we both left at the lights there. Okay. This is exactly what I was talking about for cars, you see? Just as I was saying. And then he's saying he did not see me. Cruising at 31 kilometers an hour. Still the first bar is the only thing flashing. People trying to race the light. The other one's like sticking their nose out. Hey, I know I'm not a perfect driver, but that's why I drive the Tesla.
See, I know this car is turning, so I'm gonna let him have the right of way. No point in me going beside him or in front of him. distillery. Old cobblestones. Thanks for a nice bumpy ride. Nice and slow. Steady she goes. Over the bumps and hills we roll. All the uh, artwork, all the history here. Really nice. If you're ever in Toronto, definitely the historic distillery district is a must see. All right. So here, I oh, Gotta take this off. Gotta be wearing these now everywhere, as you know. So I just went to Balzac's to grab myself an espresso. Then we're gonna make our way back. I got it uh, locked up to the side there. Um, let's check the kilometers and all the range. I'll post that down below uh, in the video, actually right around there. Looks like a good spot, I can pop it in. Make our way back, a little bit of uphill, but overall flat and uh, let's see the total range on what the uh, the nine bot max did so it's 11:59, and we are going to make our way back the beautiful peace sign in front of us but that's not why you are all here for Range test, range test. So one full bar is gone. <laughs> I still got four bars and counting. And there she is. <laughs> From where it all started, to where it all began, to the end route. Alright, so let's check all the final stats on that. So we have 63% battery remaining, 41 kilometers range. But I did about 12 to 13 kilometers and I used up around 22, so almost double. So if this is rated for 65, then you can easily get 30 out of this. I'll go back to that again. I'll put the proper stats up. Cool, so I went from Young and Avenue Road, Young and Avenue Road, all the way down to the distillery district, and then from there, grabbed an espresso and came back. The only regret I would say is I did not bring water. One time where a guy literally hit me on the side, but we were next to each other at the lights. So he clearly saw me there and then we went from the lights. As we passed through the lights, he decided he needed to get closer to the lane and I'm right next to him and I'm ringing the bell too. And he starts moving over. So I went right to where the curb is and I jumped off the scooter trying to lift it up. So I gotta be careful. I wish we had more bike lanes for this kind of stuff. But again, I drive a car too. I gotta respect the bikes and I know a lot of bikers out there don't give a crap. They'll do whatever, they, they don't care. Bikers and cars work together. All right, so just a super quick closing to this video. Again, really impressed so far with the Ninebot Max. If you don't have one, check it out. Again, the link is in the description to the great place. If you are in the Toronto area, make sure you go see Jason and the team over there at uh, Segway of Ontario. Thanks for watching. Give it a big thumbs up if uh, you found this useful at all. And if you're not subscribed already, please do so. I really appreciate it. It helps the channel grow and uh, it inspires me to bring you more videos. I really hope you're liking everything that you're seeing, not just from the Tesla, but everything else. Stay safe, stay well, and guess what? We'll catch you in the next one.